lovely Jeff. Woohoo! Hi, everyone. Hi. Pastor Hello. Hello, why do you dress up like this? Pastor Joe. Wow. Japanese wrestling man, right? Yes, sumo. So cool. Yeah, Pastor Hannah, look at you. I'm from Toy Story. Wow. wow. My favorite movie. Wow. Look so, at Pastor David. Yes, I'm the dinosaur. <gasps> wow. Riding on a dinosaur. So you know, we're dressed up today not to celebrate Halloween but for Halloween Day. <laughs> So today, we're going to let you know, we're going to teach you why we are not celebrating Halloween. So uh, stay together. Let's worship God and praise God today. All right, let's pray first. Put your hands together. Let's pray. Father God, we come before you. We're going to worship you and praise you. Please speak to us and tell us what we need to do. Please open our hearts and mind. And we're going to listen to you, Father. We're going to give all our hearts and minds. We're going to praise you and worship you. Receive our worship. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Come on now. Let's open up the book. Come on now. And take a good long.
Were you guys scared? Yes, it was so scary. Well, in the beginning, it was kind of fun. Yeah, it was. Surprising you. Mm -hmm. But then when Pastor Cho scared me, oh my goodness, I cried. You know, my friends, so many people at the night Halloween day, it's all about scaring people, eating some good food and candles, right? Yeah. Is that all about the Halloween? I thought so. Trick or treating and then decorating house wearing scary costumes. Like zombies and ghosts, yeah. monsters. Mm -hmm. Isn't that all about Halloween? That's why today we need to find out what is the true meaning of the Halloween mm -hmm. and also what the Bible talks about the Halloween. Really? Does the Bible tell us about Halloween? Actually, no. But we can find out what God wants us to do on Halloween day. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Can we do some research? Yes, Whoa. let's find out. Wow! We're gonna open up our computers and see. Let's all find out. Yay! Let's take a look at the history of Halloween. The word Halloween comes from the other word for holy. As hallow means holy, we use the same exact word when we pray the Lord's Prayer. When I say, hallowed be thy name, we are using the same word that we use in Halloween. That's the word for holiness. Halloween is a Catholic feast. On this day, people pray for the souls of the dead. On that night, children would travel from house to house to pray for the dead in exchange for treats. People used to believe that the Halloween was a day when the dead came back to their homes. But the Bible says that he who goes down to the grave does not come up. He shall never return to his house. According to Job chapter 7, verses 9 to 10. And also the Bible says that Jesus has conquered the dead. At Halloween, we see people wear scary customs to celebrate different sorts of evil. We see this as people dressed up in ghosts, witches, and bones. What do you think these customs may represent? For me, it makes me to think of a person who has blood all over as if they have murdered someone. All of these are the deeds of darkness that the devil celebrates. But the Bible clearly says, don't participate in the fruits work of darkness, but instead expose them. Ephesians 5.11 How about pumpkins? jack o lantern have become a popular symbol for Halloween. Pumpkins in itself is not bad. Pumpkins have vitamin C and D and is very healthy fruit. But the meaning behind putting a decorative pumpkin is to invite an evil spirit into your own home. It is odd that not many people know the meaning. Wow! We learned a lot today! Oh, Pastor David, I have one question. Is it okay to go out and trick or treat? Hmm. <gasps> I think I know. Mm -hmm. I think I learned at church before. Oh. Well, when you go out to trick or treat, I know you're all dressed up in costume and you have your bags where you can fill up with a lot of goodies, right? <gasps> trick or treat. 
trick means you're going to either trick someone, like surprise mm -hmm. someone, or treat means to receive treat. So oh. when you go by door to door to door to go trick or treat, the person who is giving you treats is choosing to either be tricked or to give you treats. Uh -huh. Well, the question is, is it okay to do it? Here's the thing. The word of God tells us to be set apart from the world. The mm -hmm. Halloween, we're talking about Halloween from the beginning. And when we participate in the event, we are not setting apart, but we're in the world. Okay. Mm -hmm. So since we are not celebrating Halloween, we have Hallelujah Day tomorrow. Yes, that's right. Pastor Hannah, thank you so much. As we learn about the history about Halloween, it's all about the demon and evil spirit, you know, having fun and wearing the costumes, scaring people. It's not fun, I think. The Bible clearly talks about how we treat the Halloween. Let's grab the Bible and turn to 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 20. Pastor Hannah, would you read that verse? Chapter 10, verse 20? Sure. It says, No, but the sacrifices of pagans are offered to demons, not to God. Mm -hmm. And I do not want you to be participants mm -hmm. with demons. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. This Bible talks about the pagan. Pagan means simply non-believers. People, those who are not believing in Jesus Christ, they are celebrating, having fun with their friends and scaring people. They're worshiping evil things. But Bible clearly says, as we learn about Ten Commandments, one and second, it's worship God and don't worship idols. Don't worship pagan religions. They are worshiping demons and evil things. But as a Christian, as a child of God, we have to worship God and praise God. Whatever we do, we have to live for God, glorify God. Yeah. That's the reason. That's why we have Hallelujah Day instead of having Halloween. Oh. Some of you guys will feel like, you know, my friends go outside and trick or treating. That looks so fun. But you feel, some of you feel like I'm outcasted. Mm -hmm. I'm alone. I'm wangta. No, don't think like that. That's why we have Hallelujah Day. We come together with pastors and friends together, worship God and praise God. That's what God wants us to do on that day, that night. All right? Let's praise God and worship God on that day. All right? All right, Pastor Chow, for Hallelujah Day, I know it's tomorrow, but do you know what time? It's 1 p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. Till when? Till 3 p.m. Oh, yeah. 1 till 3. If you have godly costumes, please bring <laughs> costumes. And we'll wear be it. costumes. Yeah. We'll be, be all in Bible, costumes. Like oh, this. wow. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's put our hands together. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for teaching us what we need to do on Halloween night. Father, help us to remember you are the only one that we have to praise and worship. Not worshiping idols, the evil things, and evil stuff. Father God, thank you again that you taught us what we need to do. We want to worship you. We want to praise you. Whatever we do, we want to glorify your name. Father, thank you again that you've given us a great day today. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. See you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. It is game time. time. Woohoo! Since today we're celebrating Hallelujah Day, you're going to need yummy, yummy candy. Yay! And then I want also it. a bowl or a bin, whatever you prefer. All right, are you guys ready for our game? Mm -hmm. Yes. Let's right. go. Right now, we're going to have two people. One person is going to throw, the other person is going to hold a bowl and yeah. try to throw as much candies as you can in 30 seconds. All okay? right, good, good, good. So I'm gonna give you 30 seconds, Pastor Joe, you can get it and 
Pastor Hannah, you're gonna throw the candy, right? Yes, yes. So stay over there. All right. The Pastor Joe, right there. You, you ready? 30 seconds. Ready, set, go. Wow. 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 Wow.